So this piece of code say that I want to have a visit to view that contains nodes, and each node belongs to class, and then for each class I want to have uh, within the set view all the methods. Okay, now I can um, particularize the shape of the method. I can say I would like to have a new shape, which is a rectangle, and in which I have the width. squares are classes. Okay. Here this is when I move the mouse. This, those are the tests. So here each small square this is a method. In that case, this is the test method. The test method I've been using it just once. You know, when I run my test, each test method is just one time. It means that uh, it's very narrow. And the A tells about the number of times of code. So you can see that here there are some red methods. It means that the method has been executed. In that case, Yes, I mean, like two two few weeks ago there were Argenic who has been working on very good visualization and then he told me that on his visualization when he did some scroll bar, it was really slow. Now I explained when well, it was just working fine, but when I scrolled, you know, I used to scroll by one hand and it was slow. And that was a very hard work, you know, hard problem to fix. You know, just to try one where the brand comes from, you know, where it comes from more people, it comes from my my, my, the way that I run the review, or does it come from just the 
what the, the discard says. Discard says tells you the number of messages that one instance of the class and the edge receives. So I mean that here there are many instances of the module that receive other messages. And then here Bounds, 
and then this method here yeah, can shrink a lot. And then again, there are still some um, large yellow methods, and I just, uh, I just change some code the method, and then I, I reach a state in which I believe no match can be optimized. And yeah, so, um, so yeah, so this is what I, I've been working on uh, over the last few months. So recently, one student of mine has been working on uh, visualizing different section between profiling. So it's still work in progress, but I think there is something really interesting behind. So here, uh, this is a visualization that really compares me to a different version of Mongolian. So here, this is the version 4.1. Here this is 4, 5, 7, and here uh, 4, 6, 6. I won't go into this visualization because I don't like it. I will just direct this, this one. For this one, um, the height of each square, this is the total time taken. The width, the number of um, execution the method has been involved. And something interesting now, the color tells you about whether it's slower or faster than the previous version. Okay, so here, I mean, here I can see that a lot of code is, is um, the new version 460 of Mongolian is much slower than the previous one. And one interesting thing is that so there is two intensity of red. Red means the method is slower, the, the light red means slower, but the strong red means that it's slower and the method is change. So here we can then I can move between different versions and say uh, C previous version will work. And then here I see that the version 4, 5, 7 actually is slower than the previous one. And why? Because of this method. Because this, all these methods are slower, but this one is slower and the source code change. Then again here I can see the difference between different source code. like to use the stuff in VisualWorks. Um, is the um, tree in uh, Monticello, I assume, uh, annotated with what the VisualWorks equivalents are, so that uh, for those versions that were, were taken from VisualWorks or ported to VisualWorks, so that we can see what what has changed from the most recent in VisualWorks? Okay. okay. So the thing is, so what you see here actually there are two different things, different things. So the first thing here you can see is just a monolithic visualization. Yes. And then the second thing is the result of the profiling. Yeah. So then if you say now, oh, you know, I have a lot of profiling information that I would like to visualize and then it work. Yeah. There is no problem. So uh, last time I went to the demo last month and I met some, some Java guys who have been working on profile in Java and then they, they, have, they have produced very large XML files. Uh, yeah. okay. 
Yeah. Okay, so, so I mean, you appreciate what I'm saying. As I want, I want the Mondrian in the, the code in VisualWorks. I mean, if you have some in data and especially profiling data that you can store in with the XML files, then I can just display that. Yes, but that's that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking. Correct me if I'm wrong, this is Mondrian. Mondrian, there is a version in VisualWorks. That yes. version is not as new as this version. Yes. So I'm wanting to do the backport of your more recent changes. Yeah, so currently, OK, so you know, this is something that I really didn't plan to do when I said to take Mondrian over. But people have been interested in importing Mondrian to be on that yeah. board. Then in that case, uh, currently there is no support. I do not use Grace. I do not use What's, yeah, yeah. Uh, so really what I'm asking is if the old versions, I mean, you you know what what version corresponds to the latest in VisualWorks. So when I'm looking back, if I can see that is this version in Monticello is that version in VisualWorks, this is the latest version, then I can do stuff. Yeah, sure. I'll do. Okay. Even though we use the, the last version of Montreal in VisualWorks, I think it should be stable enough and good enough. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really push. Okay, sorry, I, I, I don't seem to be. I'm wanting to know the equivalences, so I'm wanting the Monticello to be. Uh, we'll talk offline. We'll talk yeah. offline. <laughs> very useful to be able to look at the database queries in a lot of different ways because maybe it's slow because you do many, many queries for this kind of thing or maybe one query is too slow. And it's, there's some interesting visualization, I think, there, but it's not really the same as just call graphs. You're very right. So, okay, you're very right. So, actually, so this is very hot topic on my research. And if, uh, um, what you actually, what you really want is a domain specific profile. This is really what you want. You, you, know, you, you are not interested in the code. You are more interested in uh, queries, uh, requests on the database. And this is, so yeah, I think Spy can be used to define domain specific profiles. 
So uh, the tools that that's once and uh, this book has to sit down and write a profile up for the parcel or just keep track of how many text uh, in tokens this parcel can can make. And I met visualization that was something like this where the edges are not the uh, the the invocation of the method but just the containment of uh, the parcel. But yeah, so yeah, this is a great one.